Hey you guys, welcome back to the Pink Butterfly. It's your girl, Lady Sylvia. How you doing? I know where in the world have I been. It has been probably three weeks to a month since I made my last video. I am so, so, so sorry. Like, I miss you guys so much. I was like, wait a minute now, I got to get back on this side of the camera, honey. So, before I forget, um, to all of the many, 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 many new subscribers, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the Pink Butterfly. Thank you so much for subscribing. You don't know how much you subscribing means the world to me. I'm truly appreciative to everyone that's been rocking with me from day one, week one, or whenever. How you doing? I have been MIA and I know and I apologize and it's not because I did not want to make videos and get back on here and talk to my people trust me that is not the case but I thought about like what could I come back and say that could kind of justify why I've been gone what's been happening with your girl and then I'm just not built for like lying and, and storytelling and all that. I'm just not built that kind of way. I believe in giving it to you straight from the hip and tell you this is what it is, this is what it's not, and that's what it is. Like it, love it, or indifferent. I'm gonna always tell you the truth. So, I have been missing because I was sick. So, I'm gonna make this story as short as possible. Back in 2011, um, I woke up one morning and I literally could not get out the bed. Like I, my back hurt so bad, I could not get out the bed. And it went on for like two days and I finally um, went to the emergency room because I had some other symptoms that were just like completely weird. Like I couldn't raise my arms up. Like I was like, what is going on? So long story short, I went to the emergency room um, and I was diagnosed with, um, Sjogren's syndrome. So I'll put the name somewhere here where you guys can see what that is. Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease that attacks, it's basically inflammation in your body. And normally your white blood cells are supposed to attack like, um, you know, cold and viruses and invaders that aren't supposed to be there but when you have an autoimmune disease um your immune system turns on itself so instead of attacking the cold or the viruses it attacks your healthy cells and tissues thinking that it doesn't belong there so basically it's like your white blood cells are confused so in Sjogren's syndrome um, it comes with a lot of inflammation your body turns on itself and it starts to attack um, pretty much anything that produces moisture, so like your eyes, your mouth, um, and then also you can get, um, it attacks your joints, you know, the inflammation is just, it, it, the inflammation can attack your organs, it's just, so I've been battling that since 2011. Um, I was also diagnosed with lupus and fibromyalgia, so lupus in its Self is a horrendous <laughs> autoimmune disease where your body again attacks itself. Um, my autoimmune diseases tend to like to attack my heart. I've had several um, heart issues with inflammation and whatnot. The last one was like last August or September, whatever. But um, I was also diagnosed with fibromyalgia, which is pretty much widespread pain from the rooter to the tutor child, just everywhere. Um, so I wasn't feeling well a couple weeks ago. Um, I knew that I had a flare up coming. I just didn't know it was going to be that bad. Um, so, you know, I've been to probably every doctor known to man in the last month or six weeks. And the craziest thing happened, like the last time I went to my rheumatologist, every single thing came up negative. Like the Sjogren's came up negative, lupus came up negative. I was like, huh? 
everything came up negative, but they couldn't explain why I was having the same type of symptoms. So everyone is scratching their head. No one really knows. They said, well, maybe you have what's called connective tissue disorder or whatever. So basically it's an autoimmune disease that is still attacking your body still attacking itself, but we can't pinpoint it, but it is attacking your tissues and your organs. We just don't know which autoimmune disease it is because we can't pinpoint it. So, you know, I just, I, I just, I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So finally, um, the people that I see for my back pain sent me back to my neurologist and She's doing a workup for MS, so I will find out, I guess, next week or week after next. Um, you know, maybe if it's MS, they all kind of did a little huddle thing and they're thinking, yeah, we think it's MS. So, you know, you, you have to do a couple of different additional tests um, to see if it is MS. I don't claim none of that. Let me tell you something about the God I serve, baby. He sit high and he look low. I was healed by every one of Jesus' stripes on his back when they beat him. I'm over it. I don't know if you've ever been sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I'm tired of being sick and tired. I'm literally tired of being sick and tired. So I'm just over it. I made up in my mind, y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. But I'm relying on a great physician, O King Jesus because I'm just over it. I know medicine is not an exact science and it's so many things that are going on that they can't pinpoint exactly what is what and what's doing what, but it doesn't matter. Because I know that I can pinpoint the great physician in the sky and that's all it is to it. So I am yet holding on to the faith. I am yet keeping my faith high. I am yet praying. I am yet helping other people because I find the best way to take your mind off of what you're going through is to help somebody else. So any and everything that I can do to take my mind off of what's going on with me, then I'm going to do that. Um, I'm also not a person that likes the pity party game, like, oh, woe is me, we're going to bring you some soup, you know, we're going to come see you. Mm -mm. I There's nothing wrong with people who like that. That's just not me. I don't like that. Like, you know, my really close friends, they get really annoyed with me if they find out two or three days later that I was in the hospital for a day or I had to go to the emergency room or I'm on bed rest, they get really annoyed with me when they find out after the fact, but they also understand and appreciate that I'm just not that, oh, woe is me type of person. I'm just not like, I just, I never want anybody to look at me with pity or sorrow or oh, she's sick again it's an autoimmune disease you gonna be sick again and again and again but as long as i don't speak that sickness into the atmosphere and as long as i don't think that thick that sickness in my mind hell i feel like i'm okay i have great excellent days and i thrive and i strive for excellence on those days and in the days that are not as excellent because I don't have good and bad days. I have excellent days and I have less than excellent days. Okay, ain't no bad day around here. The power of life and death lies in the tongue. So ain't no bad days around here. Okay, but on the days that are less than excellent, then I do what I got to do. If I need to lay down all day, I'll lay down. If I need to sleep, I'll sleep. If I need to take some pain medicine or drink a beer, hell, whatever it is I got to do, then I will do that. But I just wanted to um, just tell you guys why I have been MIA for so long. Um, and then when I did start to feel better, it takes a while to get my energy and my strength back up and, you know, to actually look like somebody. If y'all saw what was going on underneath this wig, honey, woo! 
So um, I was like, well, I went to church today and I was like, well, let me go on and, and make a video because I ain't gonna put on real clothes and fix my face for no other time this week. So I just wanted to tell you guys, number one, how much I truly, truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Man, there is no pink butterfly without you guys. I It's not like a standard YouTube content creator. I love you guys. No, I truly, truly, truly love you guys. You guys give me inspiration and motivation to continue to keep on keeping on, okay? Um, and there are some ladies that reached out to me personally. Um, you know, that was like, hey, where you been? To you ladies, I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so, so, so much for checking in on me. That, man, that did my heart good. That warmed my heart to know that somebody missed me, okay? <laughs> so, like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been, what I've been up to. I'm much better. So, I will be sitting here on the bathtub with my girl back there making videos hopefully in the next um week or so you know i can come and give you guys more content and just talk crazy like we like to do so until i see you guys next time y'all have a blessed week thank you for rocking with your girl thank you for praying for me thank you for praying with me just thank you for being a community of pink butterflies fly as we want to be okay so until i talk to you guys next time y'all know the ending peace